वन गुरु जी ही सेट बेटा आई हैव टू डू सूर्यार्क सो प्लीज क्लीन दिस वेसल एंड देन गिव इट टू मी सो डिसाइपल क्लीन द वेसल गिव इट टू गुरु जी एंड गुरु जी टुक द वेसल एंड देन स्टार्ट इट बेदिंग so somebody said that guru ji you were already in the river could you not have just bathed directly from the water he said i could have but then he would not have got any seva like kripalu ji maharaj i had the opportunity to be with him for many years in the summers he always used to feel hot so everybody would be focused we need to fan him because he's feeling hot and in the winters he always used to feel cold because then everybody had to oh, you need to put this you need to put that you need to. he was deliberately doing things so that everybody's focus was on you know how to take care the purpose of the guru is to purify the disciple and for that purpose they can create sevas well, likewise our perspective should be that we are doing our seva and our goal is to purify ourselves so when that priority comes self purification then we willingly accept adverse circumstances then they don't trouble us so much you know adverse circumstances is an opportunity for purification now we have heard the example of tukaram etc right that his spouse had a bad nature so tukaram would take it in the positive light this is an opportunity for self purification now if you have that kind of an attitude then nothing in this world will ever disturb you it is said of socrates that once his wife started shouting and shouting and shouting at him and socrates was unmoved so finally the wife took a bucket of water and threw it on his head so socrates responded yeah that is how it should be you know the clouds first they thunder and then they pour <laughs> so you are doing the same the example is given of saint usman saint usman was a sufi saint in arabia he was walking on the streets and somebody threw some ashes from above rock now if anybody does like that to us we will feel oh my ego has been hurt i have been affronted i was not respected enough but sant usman his response to that provocation was exemplary and something from which we should all learn he did not burst forth are you blind can't you see he looked up and said ya khuda tu kitna dayalu hai main to is layak tha ki meri upar jalte hue angare phenke jaye tune keval raakh phenki my lord how kind you are i was worthy of this that you should have thrown burning ember on me and you only threw ashes why is he keeping such an attitude because he is utilizing the circumstance for self purification and for self purification the negative circumstance becomes an opportunity so when i first started preaching and in preaching sometimes you would come across negative lot of negativity as maharaj ji you know wahan pe there is too much of kusan that is the opportunity to purify yourself never miss the opportunity for negativities because it is in the midst of them that the cleansing of the heart will take place so it's a completely different from the material paradigm the material paradigm is that how will i enhance my comforts and anything that goes against my thinking is a threat to me but the spiritual paradigm is that we welcome the negative circumstances because they are just giving us such chances by which we can grow from within 
and become better people. Don't